So, welcome to another tutorial about Kinter on pythonprogramming.altrevista.org and uh, here it is, our little graphical user interface uh, with the Kinter and you see that when I click here, when I select something, I can see the image in uh, on the right there. So you can see this is a sprite that is moving, so I go up and down and I can see it moving, just realizing how it could seem. And this sprite uh, series of images are free and you can uh, download them in uh, the link in the description of my article. So let's go and see how we made this code explaining it. Uh, and for each line, let's call fbrowser by this file browser. So first of all we need to import um, to Kinter, of course, STK, this is the abbreviation that we gave to Tkinter, create a window with tk.tk and then uh, end the loop with Tkinter main main loop. Then we have to create a window, a list box where we're going to put the name of the file with tk list box of force attach it to the root and then we are going to uh, make it visible with pack and we want to make that on the this list box on the left so we'll use side left and we want it to expand when we um, expand the window and we want to fill uh, the the vertical um, axis with fill equal uh, tk.y and then we are going to populate so let's run it this is the window let's run it again and this should expand vertically uh, I could also have used it both so we'll occupy all the window if you prefer and then we are going to populate the list with dot insert and we're gonna attach to the end, to the last item, what, tk, sorry, not tg, uh, the image. Where I get this image? I gotta put a, a loop here for, for emg in uh, list images and list images will be a um, a loop, a list made e for e in glob dot dot glob of all the images that ends with png and we need to import glob before to use this. So now it will take all the images that are in this folder here where the file where we saved our file and we populate this list here. There it is. We do but now now we want that something happens and we want to see the image in a we will use a label for this so tk dot label always in a root and let's see the let's pack it to make it visible and we don't see nothing because there is nothing inside but we wanna also have an image so an image that is an object that is a photo image object that we load a file. Let's load the first file here. Let's open this one and take one uh, wherever it is. Copy the name, copy it, close it, close it, paste it, go it, and then he, in here in lab we wanna have to do the image to be EMG. So we pass this object here. We first load the file into photo this photo images class and then we um, configure the image with this object here into lab. So let's see if it works. There it is. If I select nothing changes I want to uh, that to change so I'm gonna do another thing here. I'm gonna do a list box bind uh, so I don't list box select I think it's the right action that the user must do to show the um, the image and so we wanna 
we will put the the function here show to show the image and so we are going to do let's put an event thing here uh, don't worry about it and then we're gonna get the the current selection of the list box so the number that we are going to um, EMG name uh, that will be the list box uh, get n so we'll get the name that we are selecting image name so this name will be the new photo image object so tk dot photo image like before file equal uh, e mg name will be the name that we selected and then we need to go into the lab uh, dot config config and give it the uh, give to the image the new image object battery if we do so let's see if it works it we won't see nothing as you can see clearly see you don't see nothing why this because this um, image object will be uh, by the garbage collectors will be deleted so to avoid this uh, we're gonna do a lab image equal image and this will make the thing go right there it is we get our image and you see that if I select a new image will make me see the new one and so we you see also the animation because they are uh, sprites an image for a sprite and so um, let's do side equal left here to see if we can see it better now it's positioned in the middle and so this is our little program working thank you for uh, watching this video and if you liked it uh, subscribe it and let me convert indentation to spaces mm, let me put some space here so I don't have this and that's all thank you for uh, watching this video and see you in the next one